So the question that would be much more able to help the person find if they're present or not is, is the space cluttered or is it clean? Is the space filled or is it empty? This will allow them to know. And what they can even become aware of is the clutter because a person can be present to the clutter. So what I would like to ask you is that how do I know if I'm present? Because a lot of people say be in the moment, be present, but how do I know if that I'm present? The feeling that a person has when they are present is a feeling of lightness. But the Am I present? When spoken into words, breaks presence. But before a person asks, how do I know if I'm present while they're meditating, it's just the feeling of knowing that you're present. The moment that you have to ask, am I present, you break presence. But before the asking, the in-between, before the question arises, presence is there. So how does a person know if they're present? Well, the easiest thing to look at is emptiness. How empty does the person feel in the moment? Clutter breaks presence. Emptiness allows presence. This is the difference between when someone is present or not. But saying, how do I know if I'm present, will never allow you to see, feel presence. It will never allow you because the very question itself breaks the presence. It breaks the silence. It breaks it feels the space. When the space is not filled, all you are are aware. The person who asks, how do I know if I'm present? Is focused on being right. The truth is, is, you can never really know if you're right. This is the truth. You can never really know if you're right. There's a certain level of trust that's needed in oneself to be able to come to the realization that I'm here. So the question that would be much more able to help the person find if they're present or not is, is the space cluttered or is it clean? Is the space filled or is it empty? This will allow them to know. And what they can even become aware of is the clutter. Because a person can be present to the clutter. Being concerned with being right always strips you away from trust of self. I want to know if I'm meditating right <coughs> right now. And a person starts <coughs> As they're doing it, they go, am I aware? Is this being present? And the very question itself actually breaks them out of what it is that they want. But before they ask the question, they're already present. 
So this is what it is. Is it filled? Is it not filled? Is it cluttered? Is it clean? Is it empty? These are the questions that a person can ask. And actually, what's going to allow them to be present is the removal of all questions. Any person who goes into meditation, they have many, many questions that they want answered when they first start out. And let's say the question is, am I present? <clears throat> is this right? Am I doing this right? Is, is, am I meditating right to the point where this is the presence that's supposed to be? The presence that enlightened ones speak of, the presence that those spiritual teachers speak of. Is it what I'm doing right now? And what's crazy is, is that the only person who can ever know this is you. A person can look at you and go, wow, you're so present, but if you don't know that you're present, you'll be like, no, well, no I'm not present. Because the moment that they say you're present, then you start to go, am I? So if you don't actually come to the realization within yourself or the trust in yourself that, okay, presence is in total space, that realization within yourself, the trust in yourself of knowing that this is what emptiness feels like, but the question will remain to let you know until the realization of emptiness comes to. So the most important thing is the realization. And the realization only happens through continuation of being in emptiness.